Hello again, it's uh, Joey John McGuire. I'm in my new watering hole, the Wibberstown Inn, uh, Weatherspoons pub again. Uh, it's in Wimbledon, that's London, United Kingdom. Uh, it's my new watering hole. And um, my latest poem, which I'm about to recite, uh, the actual title is called On Changing Watering Holes. Here goes. Last month, I changed my favorite watering hole, not for the first time, because I found it necessary on many an occasion to bail out in an almost futile attempt to rid myself of the ignorant bigotry that seems to follow even loiter in my path. My attempts to maintain a low profile draw unwarranted attention and constantly fail me. I must have one of those faces. I should never rob a bank. And everybody, it seems, wants to be familiar, not realizing that familiarity breeds contempt. I tired of explanations long ago. My attempts to do so drawing suspicion because a lot of people's minds developed no further than the potty stage, and I learned the hard way that being different isn't easy, and harm is always to be found lurking in nearby shadows. My new haunt, though pleasant, has the same sprinkling of imbeciles. My radar has already spotted a few clusters of smug bigots who sit watching, their hearts bitter with hatred, their eyes showing it, and they hate anyone who they presume to have more good fortune than themselves. Their evil eyes are relentless in their scanning, as they search for anyone anything that will distract attention from their own failings. I have already been probed, made to feel uncomfortable, even told that I am not friendly because I choose my own company and that of my computer, and who would blame me? They think I am rich. I have caught them gesticulating and pointing loads of money. Not because I've flashed the wedge, but because I'm articulate and I live near Chelsea, which means I'm not one of them, and to make matters even worse, I'm a northerner, a bloody foreigner. How smug they are in the relative safety of the mire, the nest they've probably never left since leaving school. But no doubt I will forgive them, I always do. But their behavior is deficient, and I'd like to vomit all over them. I shall not tell them more than they need to know. They are not worthy of that knowledge. I shall throw scraps, throw them scraps, just enough to appease them, keep the wolves from entering my door. But I know that one day, when the pressure builds to bursting point, I shall be forced to change watering holes. Again, that is why I sit alone, defending my space, gathering little moss, avoidance, the only way I know how to survive, for there are many bitter bigots in England, and there is only one of me. I have a lot of distractions there, but I hope that one's okay. <laughs>